Okay, hello again in another exciting tutorial about Playmaker and Unity uh, with me, Romy Fauzi. And in this episode, I think this is the episode 12, uh, I'm going to continue uh, from our last session, which is the creating the boss and also the movement, the uh, boss system, enemy boss. And in this episode, I'm going to create a missile guided missile system so uh, we are going to create a new uh, blaster uh, blaster class or an object with a beam tag uh, as a weapon and this uh, missile will follow the enemy so it will pick the closest enemy uh, in the in the scene and then it will uh, follow that enemy and of course because this is a special uh, a special type of weapon the damage will be a lot bigger than uh, the other uh, the other beam. So, okay, uh, let's get to it. But before, I want to apologize that it took me a while to create this new uh, tutorial episode because uh, this past two weeks I I was quite busy with a uh, release of my new games. It called it is called Bubur Ayam Rush. And uh, bubur ayam is actually a a tr Indonesian traditional dish. It's a very famous uh, bre breakfast uh, breakfast dish. Uh, and if you like this kind of game, this uh, food management, or uh, just download it on Play Store. It it is called bubur ayam rush, and you can see the trailer, also the screenshot. And I really appreciate if you. Uh, download it and maybe give a rating it could help uh, me uh, with the search ranking on the play store okay so now let's get back to the tutorial okay so now in order to create a new a new um, missile uh, sorry missile let's create a new 3d object so create 3d object a capsule object and also create a new empty game object and let's rename this as a uh, as missile and let's zero out the values of this game object and move the z-axis a bit so we can see it not uh, inside of the ship and then let's direct the capsule to be uh, to become the child of this missile object and let's also zero out the position of the capsule and let's rotate the x-axis to a 90 degrees and then uh, let's set this capsule up so I'm going to remove the capsule collider and I'm going to scale this to maybe around 0 0.25 and also 0 0.25 on the z-axis and I'm going to set this to 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 on the y-axis of the scale so it should be the scale and let's add a capsule collider first on the parent object the missile object and change its radius but you can see it's not aligned so let's change the direction to z-axis and then let's scale this collider to maybe around 0 0.1 and make sure its trigger is turned on also change the tag to beam so just like when we are creating the laser okay so next let's create a rigid body and then disable use gravity and also freeze on the Y position okay so next I'm going to create a new material and let's name this missile tutorial and I'm going to change the color to around a dark grayish color also bump the metallic up and also the smoothness up so it looked like this and let's direct this missile to this object here okay and we have a particle system here 
the thruster so let's duplicate this thruster and then drag this to our capsule object and then zero out this value here so it become the child of the missile and let's change the start size to a smaller value maybe around 0 0.4 and also under the particle system under the render uh, this is billboard it's already built. okay so I'm going to move the missile object a bit so we can see the particle system and maybe it's still too long so uh, we can decrease the start lifetime so it becomes smaller and the start size also to a smaller value maybe around 0 0.25 under emission let's crank this value up to around 30 and I'm going to change the color to a slight orange color so it is more like a missile a missile thruster okay that should do go back to our main object let's create a new FSM so right click add new FSM and we are going to name this FSM as blaster move because basically this FSM will handle the movement of this mi missile and as we can see to our uh, our other blaster is using the same name and each of this uh, weapon or this blaster they have a same variable called damage power okay so we need to do that on our missile so let's create a new variable called damage power and for this variable let's give it a value of 8 and then we need to add a find closest so we, we are going to find the closest game object and we are going to find object with tag of enemy make sure ignore owner and leave the other setting and then we are going to store the game object that are closest and founded by this action to a new variable so create new variable enemy and then we are going to sorry I'm going to save the scene first and let me check on the the example done okay we are going to check whether the object is null or not because maybe we can shoot the missile accidentally when there is no enemy at all on the screen or on the scene thus the enemy will be null so we need to check that null okay use the action uh, this this action is called game object is null so if the enemy is null then we are going to create a new event chase or forward so there are two types of movement that we are going to use the first one is chase and the second one is forward and if the enemy is null we are going to go to the forward event and if it's not null we are going to chase this okay so that should do the trick and first we are going to handle forward so I'm going to connect forward to the state move forward set the state oh sorry not that one this is in it initialize and the second state is should be move forward and we are going to use a translate action and we are going to move this around 25 units per second on the z-axis and make sure the space is world and we are going to use a weight action and let's set the weight action to 1.5 seconds and add a finish event transition set that to the finish event of the weight action and add a new destroy state sorry uh, this is for destroying so in 1.5 second probably the missile will be already outside of the screen so we need to destroy it sorry rename this destroy and 
at a destroy self uh, action oh no sorry <laughs> yep we already at that and we are going to copy this move forward state and from chase we are going to the move forward first but this uh, the wait timing will be far lower than uh, the time under the move forward I'm going to close my whatsapp because it's interfering the audio so yep uh, much lower time wait and let's create a new state and this one is going to be a chase and I'm going to save the scene and I'm going to check our sample because I forget easily okay after. okay so yep yep okay so go back to our missile and here under chase we need to use a move target sorry move towards not move target move towards so this move towards is actually a action to create a movement that follows another object so in this case we are going to follow the enemy and I'm going to set the max speed also to 25 so the speed will be the same as this translate action and at a finish transition and under the finish event we are going to send the finish transition and go to destroy and we need to add another action a smooth look at and this will uh, rotate our missile to facing the enemy so choose the enemy target as an object and we can leave the other setting like so and let's save this and hopefully it's working save it and okay and now we need to drag this missile as a prefab so drag this as a prefab and we can delete this one oh sorry I've somehow I've moved the capsule so we need to slide this Z value to a zero value and click apply so it gets updated and let's delete this I'll click apply over here and let's delete this missile object now we need to add this missile to our sci-fi fighter so under the fire system we have a gate button down right so copy this action and change this button name to fire 2 and fire 2 is actually the left alt so fire 1 is the left control and fire 2 is the left alt and we are going to create a new event I called missile and add this transition missile and for the fire 2 button change this transition to missile and I'm going to copy the second state here and go to the state and go back to our first state here so we have this make the wait a bit longer maybe around uh, 1.15 and for the create object just change this to not the current weapon but maybe we can uh, disable the variable here use variable and just pick the object from our browser and later we can create a new variables uh, maybe a current missile system or current missile and change this as as the player uh, maybe came across with a p uh, missile power ups or, or something like that but for this tutorial example I'm going to assign this directly so we can see if it's working or not let's save this uh, scene and okay let's try it hopefully it's working I'm crossing my fingers okay it's working and as oh there is something wrong because the missile doesn't follow the enemy so I'm going to fire this one one time and pause the game and let's see why it does okay it doesn't store the enemy and let's check the boss object here okay so here is the problem our bus is still untagged so let's stop that and let's choose the 
boss where is it the okay 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 this one and let's change this to enemy the tag under the scene under the boss enabler Astro boss uh, one change its text to enemy and let's save the scene and let's try it again hopefully it's working this time ah there you go so as we can see it follow the boss and okay so there as you can see it's very powerful this missile so only three hits the enemy is fall and I think that would be all for this episode tutorial I hope you like it and if you like it please subscribe uh, also really appreciate any donation if you could make it and don't forget try this game my very recent game it has a very nice rating at the moment so I uh, and if you like this kind of game please just try it it's very fun and hopefully in the next episode I'm going to cover how to create a counter so we we can uh, limit the missile that we have so the, the, the player does not abuse this missile system thanks for watching see you in the next episode bye